When you're doing your degree, say bachelor's or master's in chemistry or pharma, the most important aspect which you should know is the destination. You know, according to me, destination is the biggest motivation for all of us as a student, right? Because we should know that after my degree, where I can apply, what kind of jobs I can get, what kind of companies are there and whether there are any companies or not, am I just shooting in the dark, right? So it's very important for you to know what type of chemical sciences and chemistry companies exist in India and what are those companies doing? And for example, what are those companies um, doing in particular domains? So all that we need uh, data, right? So in this video, I'm going to share top 10 types of chemistry companies in India with names and what they do. Now, the first thing which comes in my mind the moment I say chemical science is our body, right? Our body is full of chemicals, right? Whether it is hormones or our, the way our body interacts with the external or internal agent, it's all chemistry, right? So, to the counter chemistry to all of the diseases is called as pharmaceuticals. So, if we say, okay, uh, you can, if you're a pharma guy, obviously you can, and even if you're a chemistry guy, you can still get into pharmaceutical and biotech companies. And they present lucrative opportunities for all of you. Some of the examples are Sun Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Reddy's, Biocon, Serum Institute, Anthem Life Sciences, and many such companies exist in India. And they are centered in Bangalore, Ahmedabad, uh, Gujarat, uh, Maharashtra, Pune, uh, Himachal Pradesh, um, in and around uh, Shimla and then various other parts of the country. So, this is pharmaceutical. This is one type of uh, chemical sciences companies where you can get a job. The second one is called as industrial chemicals. Now, a lot of industries exist in India and all these industries uh, depend on some kind of raw material chemicals and those chemicals are manufactured by these companies. Okay, So, industrial chemicals. Now, what are those? For, for example, you go to a lab, so you need chemicals, right? The same way, at the industry level, industrial scale chemicals are required. And these companies manufacture industrial chemicals. And what are those? So, Tata Chemicals, uh, Hindustan Organic Chemicals Limited, DCM Sriram Limited, Nirma Limited. So, these are the companies. Now, Tata Chemicals, you already know, it's a huge company. Hindustan Organic Chemicals produces wide array of chemi organic chemicals, which is primarily used in production of plastics and resins. DCM Sriram is producing a variety of industrial chemicals, including urea, Chlor alkali and calcium carbide. And then, of course, Nirma, we already know, washing powder Nirma. Nirma manufactures a wide range of industrial chemicals used in the production of soda ash. So, that's about the industrial chemicals. So, these are the companies which are in industrial chemicals. The third type of company which you have in chemistry is called as fertilizer companies. Now, fertilizers are two types chemical fertilizers and biofertilizers. So, the chemical fertilizer part where you can get a job. So, Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizer Limited, this is one example. So, what they do? They produce uh, chemicals like ammonium sulfate, urea, ammonium phosphate and various other uh, fertilizers. And of course, the entire agriculture depends on fertilizers. This is an evergreen uh, industry. The next company you can have is Coromandel International Limited. Who, again, they say they are uh, generating a lot of fertilizers for the agriculture, uh, pesticides also they are producing. Nagarjuna Fertilizer and Chemicals, again, similar company, which is doing uh, production of urea, DAP, ammonium bicarbonate and various other chemicals also. So, this is a third type of company you have, it is fertilizers. The next one, the fourth one is solvents and chemicals intermediaries. Now, what are they doing? They are creating solvents. So, manufacturing specialty chemicals, solvents and intermediates, they are used in various industries including textiles, flavors and fragrances. Some of the examples are Atul Limited, SI Group India Limited and BASF India Limited. Popularly, BASF, you should know, it's a big company. Uh, it produces a wide range of solvents and intermediates that are used in production of plastics. Uh, coatings and paper among other things. So, solvents and chemical intermediates is one amazing uh, place where you can get in. So, so far I have told you pharmaceuticals, then I told you industrial chemicals, the second one, the third one is fertilizer, the fourth one I told you is solvent and chemical intermediates. Now, the fifth one is specialty chemicals. Now, specialty chemicals, what are those? So, uh, manufacturing of, of specialty chemicals like herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, agrochemicals, polymers, various uh, chemicals used in various industrial processes like uh, pigments, printing inks, plastic additives. Uh, these are the specialty chemicals. So, you have various companies in this like Pi Industries, Aarti Industries, K 
Clarent Chemicals India Limited. So these are all big, uh, big shot companies, publicly listed companies where you can get job. So this is your specialty chemicals. The next type of company you can get is obviously all around us where I'm sitting, where you're sitting, paint and coatings. Now, you know, obviously, you, you obviously remember that Asian paints, right? Nerolac, then Axo Noble India, all these companies, what are they doing? They're generating paints. Now, every building requires painting, right? So the entire real estate industry will not survive if there, there are no paints. So Asian paints is one of the largest painting and coating companies in India. So is Nerolac, which is also included in decorative paints industrial coatings and powder coatings. So these are the two major companies you have. Axo Noble is also a company in paint and coating. So this is one type of industry you have. The next type of company you have in the chemical sciences chemistry industry is adhesives and sealants. Now obviously adhesives are what? They are chemicals. Sealants, they are chemicals. Rubber itself is a sealant which is a chemical, right? So you have, uh, of course, you have, you must have heard of uh, Fevicol, right? So at industrial scale also, Fevicol is manufactured by Pidlite Industries. So Pidlite uh, is uh, doing a lot of woodworking and construction and textile adhesive they are manufacturing at the industrial scale. The second one you must have heard of, it's a US company, 3M India Limited. Now they're in India also. So 3M is a huge company globally and they have adhesive, sealant, tapes, which is used in various industries. The third is Huntsman International uh, Private Limited, which produces ad adhesives and sealants again. So th this is another category of companies, which is adhesives and sealants. So these are all the type of companies which I wanted to share today. I think I shared you uh, four, five, I think six or seven companies today. Now, apart from this, there are various other small scale uh, companies also, which are involved in industrial scale manufacturing of chemicals. Now, the world of chemistry is exciting. It's uh, amazing. And it's at the same time, uh, very growth oriented. It's, it's highly growth oriented. And my suggestion to you as a fresher in MSc uh, chemistry and um, BSc chemistry is don't lose hope. You can start getting placed right after BSc itself. After MSc though, definitely you can get placed. And if you're looking for a job as a fresher, you have the right place to go. That is rasainika.com. So subscribe to our channel and check our newsletter. We send every day free newsletters to all our subscribers with all the jobs from any of these companies in these categories. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe with us today and see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.